Hey guys, let's talk about how to uh, create a YouTube thumbnail in Google Drive. It's actually pretty simple to do. I'm, I'm looking at the Pursue God site right now. And what we're looking at is, let's say that I'm, I want to replace this YouTube thumbnail with a newer version. It's It says, learn to identify the lies you believe. Now notice it's from News and Culture. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, Google Drive. I'm going to go, I'm just in their uh, presentation you know, there's slides. Basically, I'm just creating slides. That's all this is here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to I want to insert a background slide. So the way you do that is uh, well, there's a couple ways to do it. You could just right click on the on the spot and and just say if there's already an image there. Usually, what you're going to be doing is you're going to have a new um, a new. Let's start from a new presentation. So typically, you're going to be starting here with this new presentation. And uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to use any of this. I'm going to get rid of the themes because I'm not interested in a theme right now. Let me just change the view for you here uh, to 50%. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to right click, I'm going to right click here on this slide now. So I just cleared everything out. Okay. And I'm going to right click on this slide. I'm going to change the background. Okay. I'll click on that. The image that I'm going to choose, I'm going to go into my images here. Um, specifically, you know, you want you, let's see if you can see this. No, nope, it doesn't look like you can. So <clears throat> I'm going to go and grab an image from, I know you can't see this, but we'll make our background images available. And this is news and culture, right? So I'm going to use the news and ba news and culture background image. So we have a, we have just a, a sort of a standard background image for each category on our website. Again, that doesn't mean you have to use that background image, but that's a great starting point. Um, and so I'm going to use that for now. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go to, uh, once I have the image there, I'm going to go to, um, let's see, insert. It's called word art, word art. Okay. Now before I'm going to insert the word out, word art, I'm going to go back to that title. So learn to identify the lies you believe. So I'm going to, I'm going to say, learn to identify, uh, is going to be my first line and then the lies you believe is my second line. I've got to decide am I going to break that into two or three and you'll see what I mean here in a second. Okay, so I'm going to say learn to identify as my first one. So I'm going to insert word art and I'm going to say, I like to do caps, learn to identify. Okay, and I'm going to change it to railway. I always like to use railway. I'm going to move that up for now and then I'm going to on the second line I'm going to do another word art and I'm going to say the lies you believe okay actually I don't like how that looks so instead I'm going to watch what I do here I'm going to I'm going to say the lies I'm going to do that real big see how that's big and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the next one, the last one, word art again. You believe, and I'm gonna just move that down. Notice that the Google makes it super easy. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit. Whoops. I'm gonna let's see. If I if you hold shift down, it keeps it it keeps it. Uh, you know, proportionate if you hold shift down. So if I'm going to grab this bottom corner and hold shift down and do it, I want the lies to be bold. I also, again, I want all of these to be railway. That's the font that we use on our site. Now this one, I'm going to make this one bigger. I'm going to hold shift and grab it and make it bigger. So learn to identify the lies you believe. So I'm going to make this, so I'm going to hold that to there, that to see it, it you'll get used to how it lines it up. It's kind of nice. So I like this. You see word art, what word art does in Google is it, if you already know how you want to line it up, you know, if you want, if you already know, um, the uh, order word art's great for a title. If you already know kind of how you want to, how, if you can sort of visualize how this title needs to be, so you can see this is this is pretty nice. And so then I'm just gonna, I, I held Shift down to select those all. So I selected this one and then Shift, 
shift and I just held shift the whole time and I selected all three of those. Now I'm just going to center that. See how that's centered? And I like that. So learn to identify the lies you believe. So this is going to be my title for uh, learn to identify. And then, I'll, and then I'm, I'm just going to go to file and I'm going to download this as a PNG. And so that's my, uh, that's my learn to identify. Now I can go to my YouTube channel and I can upload that. Um, so that's how you do that. Again, if you want to change out the image, just right click on that and change background and you can change it to one of those other background images, either the primary background images that we make available on our site. If you just uh, go, go down to uh, ministry tools, you'll see that um, that'll be available for you. Just click on graphics and you can download the background images if you want to use those. So hope that's helpful. Again, any feedback you might have, just do it at our leader site on Google+.